what people have overcome and, and then where they get to, I feel in, in a lot of ways it makes for a safer society. It makes for people that understand their defenses and, and can have disarmed themselves now don't need to defend themselves in quite the same way anymore. So I'm wondering if you can talk to that. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Enneagram is a perfect vehicle for that, for giving that, them that understanding without having to go through years and years of psychotherapy or years and years of, you know, physical exercises or whatever it is, you know. Uh, the, the beauty and the strength of the Enneagram is that it really recognizes the way the type structure organizes itself uh, internally in order to first and foremost survive. And that based on these original ways at which the, the wounding came into people's lives and the contraction of the defenses that came in, and, uh, you know, in initially they're going to be repeated by the nervous system because the brain likes repetition of the known and keeps us in the known. And become, we become less and less, whether we're in prison or out of prison, we become less and less able, you know, able to be curious and open ourselves to the unknown and things that, you know, are maybe considered scary. So based on that, I think the, the Enneagram as a three-centered system is very helpful because, you know, knowing our cognitive par patterns and our thoughts is the beginning of starting to recognize ourselves in on that map. And then dropping a little further down into the emotional components is a little bit of a stretch. And our society doesn't really allow, especially the negative emotions, to be viewed and seen. So they automatically get repressed. But then to drop further down into the belly, into the instincts, you know, and the defensive reflexes, you know, that's even more taboo. You know, in our society as a first world, you know, we are over-celebrating that neocortex. And our reptilian somatic brain, you know, is not being highlighted as a, a place where we can gain information and wisdom that might be useful to understand why we might have done something out of an impulse and did not have control over it. And that's what I'm hoping to bring as an additional piece in the Enneagram work. How do we recognize these automatic, highly conditioned reactions that we have? And how do we work with them when they surface? And how can we relax them right at the root of the arising before they come full circle into the full behavior that goes with it?